we're going to take a look at the different ways that we can navigate across our directories and also across our files and classes when using IntelliJ. There's also a few neat tricks that we can play about to understand how different method calls are made and how we can navigate across them using keyboard shortcuts with IntelliJ. Before we, before we begin taking a look at the different ways that we can search amongst the directory of our project, I'm just going to open up the IntelliJ version which we have. So I'm using the Community 2020.2 edition, so it might be that different shortcuts apply to different versions in case you're not using this exact same version. This project that I have open is simply forked from GitHub and I'll leave the link to the repository in the description below. So one of the most common ways of searching with IntelliJ is using Control shift f or Command shift f and this will open up a find and path where you can navigate across your entire project for a certain string. So for example, I might want to find the get FPL statistics method. And this will show you where this method name is being called and also the actual instance itself. If we want to find all the instances of a selected method, we can highlight the method and then press Control Shift F. And then it will show you all the instances of that same method within your project. If we then press Option M, or Alt M, that can then take us to find this same method, but only within a selected module. We only have a single module here at the top called FPL-Bot, but if you had multiple modules and you wanted to find a specific method or string within a particular module, you could do exactly that. If you then press Option D or Alt D, that can take you to a finding path for a specific directory. So let's say if we only wanted to find where this method call is made within a certain test, or within uh, certain packages or directories within our project, we can specify exactly which one we want to find uh, using the directories. And lastly, using option S or Alt S, you can then navigate to a specific scope. And the scope's quite handy here because it provides quite a few different predefined scopes which we can navigate across, such as project files, project test files, open files, or current files. So while finding path allows you to search for any string across certain directories or certain modules and scopes, we can also use shift shift to put up a different type of search where we're specifying the different kinds of types of files that we'd like to reference for that certain string. So if you press Command O or Control O, this will allow you to search specifically for any classes so I might just want to search for the player class and pull this up. If you press Command Shift though, this will allow you to navigate to specific files. So you might want to use this when you want to search for any of your configuration files or any of the files that you might use as resources to your project for referencing. If you press Command or Control Alt O, that can take you to symbols. And symbols are an element of a model uh, such as a, a local variable or a spring bean or even a method. So, so, so we might want to look at where the ID is referenced within the application for certain methods and also local variables. Let's say we have a log and we want to see all the classes that use that log. And lastly, if you press Command or Control Shift A, this can take you to actions. And actions are kind of the extension points to IntelliJ. So if you want to run a Gradle configuration or a Maven configuration, you can access this through the actions, or if you want to search for your settings, this provides a slightly different scope from the classes, files, and symbols for you to navigate across IntelliJ directly from your keyboard. For any of the actions that you might perform right the way across the toolbar, so if you want to close a certain file, you can also find out what the keyboard shortcut for that would be, which is Command W. And when we want to exit this navigation shortcut, you can just press Escape and it will take you back to your class. Now, while the difference between these different shortcuts may seem very small and inconvenient to learn, when you're navigating across a fairly large application, going directly to the classes, the files, the symbols, and the actions can improve the efficiency of how you search across your application, especially when there'll be many references to the same type of classes or string names or method names across your application. The last keyboard shortcut we're going to look at is how we can use command or control click to, to understand the different method calls that are made within our application and how we can navigate directly to them. 
So we have this method here called getFPL official teams. And if we want to understand the different classes that make use of this method call, we can use control or command and click. And we'll see this small pop up below that will show the two instances where the game data service is calling this method. And then we can click on these instances to see those method calls that are then using that getter from the FPL official game data. So now let's say we want to navigate back to that exact same line that we've just come from. We can use Command Option or Control Alt and then left, and we can go exactly back to where we've just come from. So that's how we can understand where different methods are being called from within our application. But let's say these method calls call other methods and we want to quickly dive into what those methods are. So we have this map and add method call and we can see that it uses the get number of occurrences method from the FPL official event. So within here we can then control and click and that will take us directly to the class and where that method is defined within that class. I can then use command option or control alt left and I can go straight back to where we've just come from. Now the last thing I'm going to do is take a look at the interfaces that we have and how we can navigate across our interfaces. So I have this Slack controller here on the left and it has just a single message called get Slack message. And on the left hand side we can see this eye with a downward facing arrow. And if we select this eye it will, it will show us the different classes that have their own implementation of this interface method. And equally, if we select the eye with the downward facing arrow at the top, it will show us the classes that implement that interface. So we have the event response that we can see this implementation for. We also have this eye with an upward facing arrow that will take us back to the interface. And we could do the same thing here to find the other implementation in the event class. So that summarizes this video on how we can use keyboard shortcuts to navigate across IntelliJ. And while each of these shortcuts may seem fairly small or fairly trivial, by becoming accustomed to using them, it can improve our efficiency when navigating across IntelliJ, which can all add up to a slightly improved experience when developing software.